This is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined on the commentary box by Lee Dixon, and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. It's Chelsea up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, not many players in their careers get chances to play in cup finals. These 22 have got a perfect opportunity to put their name on the map. Number I'm seven, looking forward to this final. It should be an absolute cracker, number Derek. Five, Jorginho. And number three, Marcos Alonso. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Antonio Rudiger starts alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Toby Alderweireld plays alongside Davinson Sanchez in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Thank you for attending Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. N'Golo Conte. Hudson Odoi. Conte now. Marcos Alonso. Can they create something from here? They could nudge in front. What a save from Hugo Lloris. Well, he's had his critics in the past, but not me. I think he's a fabulous goalkeeper. Played into the centre of the box. And a throw-in it's going to be. Excellent defending. Clears it away. Lo Celso. Vinicius. Ndombele. Aurier. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man. Lee, what are you anticipating seeing from him? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. And Pulisic has it. On to Haaland. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Jorginho. Mount. Top class defending. Lucas. Now Son. Javier. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Excellent challenge. And using his strength to shield the ball. Javier, Lucas Moura. A oh, tremendous block. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. Holland. Conte has it. Ngoro Conte. 
Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Pulisic, really getting stuck in. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Well, it petered out. Jorginho. Conte now. Well, Derek, there's nothing between these two teams in terms of possession. Can someone take control of this game? Take a few more risks. Hopefully we'll see a goal soon. Conte. And Pulisic has it. Son. On the ball, Reguilon. Lucas. Javier. Good strength to keep the ball. Over the top intended for Son. What can he do from here? Defensive efficiency personified. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Can he finish this? And a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, the ball is moving again. Spurs trailing going into the second half. Can they summon the right response? Ndombele. Well, the ball lost here. Mount. Back to Holland. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Can they hit on the break? Alderweirel. Now Son. Reguilon. This might have potential. Son. Effective challenge. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Reguilon. And he could be in proper trouble here. He had to react and did. Mount. And he read it well. Good tackle. And they're inside the final 30 minutes. Extremely sloppy in possession. Javier. Vinicius. A bit sloppy in possession. And Spurs have the ball once more. Tottenham really controlling possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. And tidily played. And hovering at the far post is Lucas. Couldn't keep it. Son, using his physical strength to shield it. 
Steven Bergwijn just looking for the right moment for that final pass and a fine tackle and room now out on the wing oh he's given the ball away unnecessarily with their noses in front in the second half what will be the thinking in the camp Lee Dixon all the Chelsea players will be looking up at the clock time is ebbing away they have such a delicate lead will they rue those missed chances they could be costly the clock is against Tottenham but they might yet bite back great block oh my goodness it's drama heaps on drama a late leveler well they left it late but they're back in it Derek you're right drama well Derek that tells you all you need to know about this group of players great team spirit fantastic stuff well Derek as we see it again it's a big mistake you try to teach youngsters not to get caught in possession and be aware of what's around you he has no clue and he pays the price well, you can... See how happy the manager is. They've shown real grit to get back into this. So, a level contest, 1-1. Inside the final five minutes now. Mount. Still level, but Chelsea on the attack, near the end. Now the electronic board showing one additional minute. Habits. Oh, good strike! A final that will live long in the memory. It's not finished yet because it's going to come down to a penalty shootout to settle the outcome. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And the penalty converts it here. Well, that's hours of practice, Derek. Hours of practice. A moment he dearly wishes he could have back. Well, I thought he was in and he did too, but no. And it's gone in. Well, the sweet sound of the ball hitting the net. And he scores from the spot. Confident, head down, lovely strike. Job done from the spot. Well, professional job. Well done. And he's denied them from the spot. Oh, it's lovely goalkeeping, really is. A goal now, and his team will prevail. And now it is truly final. One team in raptures, the other disconsolate. What an ending! Well, you can talk about the merits of penalty shootouts to decide big tournaments, big games. So much nerves are still needed. A little bit of a gamble here and there. Who's going to come out on top? But the end result is there for all to see. No, they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment not for the losers. It's a case of trying to forget about everything that has just occurred well just the point Derek always be respectful of the losers yes you're in raptures you're celebrating with your mates always took time to go to the opposition and say unlucky the party has started it's going to be quite the night of celebration here
Well, it's these moments, Derek, when you get your hands on the silverware and that little medal that goes round your neck might seem small now, but you'll look back at that. Show your grandkids absolutely superb memories these players will have of this game. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Yeah, it's been a long old road to get to this point. They're going to celebrate now and certainly celebrate long into the night, I think. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness.